Hello, y'all. Today we are going to make a delicious everything bagel casserole. We're going to start out by putting half of your pre chopped everything bagels into the casserole, into the already prepared casserole dish. Remember, y'all, always do everything prepared. And then we are going to make our um, what is it called like a kind of like a egg custard bath we're gonna start with nine eggs right here and then you're gonna take a about a cup of half and half looks like a cup to me of course our salt always got to add a little salt and pepper even though the everything bagels have salt on it already you're gonna want to still add a little bit of salt and pepper to your eggs oh and our pepper bum ba da bum i like to always use fresh cracked pepper but whatever you got at home that's what you use and then because i like heat we're going to add a little bit of cayenne pepper but if you cannot handle the heat maybe your family isn't into cayenne pepper then by all means leave it out i'm going to give that a nice whisk make sure you pop all your egg yolks now you know you have when it's all you have created the right mixture when it's all kind of like one color all the egg yolks should be popped and it should be all one consistency i see one egg yolk right there that just don't, don't want to pop for me y'all see it got it so when you're using your bagels, you could um, start out, I'm using fresh bagels, just straight out the bag, but you could toast them and dry them out a little bit and they will soak up this mixture so beautifully. Kind of like how French toast or um, what is it called? Uh, bread pudding. So then you're going to take half of this mixture and pour that right over. Move that around. Let everything start to soak up. Now, in the interest of time here at the studio, we donate our food. We don't just throw all this food away, we donate it. So there's gonna be someone coming later on today to pick this up. But if you are at home and you got the time to make it, I would totally suggest letting this soak overnight like the way you would do like a bread pudding. OMG, all those flavors will really meld together perfectly. But if you, even if you don't got time, it's still gonna melt together perfectly. Now we're gonna add a little bit of bacon crumbles. You could use pre-packaged bacon. You could use um, pepper bacon. Ooh, I bet you pepper bacon. If you like spice would be good, jalapeno bacon. We're gonna use half of it because we're gonna layer the other half on in the, um, at the end, you'll see. Trust the process. Now, a little bit of onions. If your family may not be into onions, like the way my family is, so you could always admit them. Or if you still want to use them, a little trick for using purple onions is you can soak them in water, in cold water, and they will take a little bit of the bitterness. Now we're just gonna use some regular packaged pre-washed cherry tomatoes. Oh. It's gone, y'all. Bangkok has it now. Any of y'all ever watch the um, Hangover? Me and my husband say that all the time. Whenever we lose anything, Bangkok has it now. And then a little bit of cheese, some Parmesan cheese. The Parmesan cheese is going to add a beautiful, sharp um, saltiness to it. It's gonna be delicious. Now, if you wanted to, you could totally add this to the egg mixture. I don't really like to do that because I like to make sure that it gets spread around evenly and not just in one little clump. All right, so now that we have this first layer down, we're gonna add the second layer. 
of our everything bagels. Now, this is perfect, really perfect. Like maybe you might have bought at Costco an extra two big pack of everything bagels. And this is really a great way to use them all, especially once they start drying out, to use them all without um, them going bad and having them waste anything, right? You don't want to waste nothing. I'm a mom on the go. And I got a whole family, so I really, really hate to waste. Again, if you have time at home, please let this soak overnight. Now we're going to want to smash all this down so that all of it gets the liquid. It is really important. Even though we're doing the layering, you still want all of that liquid to be absorbed from the bottom. Okay, I'm push that down there. Another little thing. Now, I am watching my weight over here. I'm trying to get that summer body. But if you wanted to, you could always drizzle this whole thing with a stick of melted butter. Nobody would be mad at you for that, right? Then we're going to do some more tomatoes. The rest of the bacon you know if you wanted to as well with the leftover bacon grease that you have from your bacon you could even caramelize those onions before you put it into the dish but I used fresh onions but you could totally do that I bet you that would be really good I love all caramel and then we want to do this last little bit of cheese which is going to get nice and golden brown but this isn't the only cheese we add in y'all i love cheese any cheese lovers out there if you love cheese give a thumbs up because cheese is the way to go we're going to add one whole stick of cream cheese now me personally this is not trying to get a sponsorship from Philadelphia cream cheese or nothing, but I really do think that it comes out, it just bakes the best. So we're gonna just kind of dot this around. Now, the cream cheese, y'all know how you, you have like the sweet, the Danish cream, um, Danishes that have like cream cheese and strawberry, maybe raspberry, stuff like that. This is gonna, when the cream cheese melts over the, over everything and everything kind of just all oozes together it's going to create that kind of effect just everywhere mm. i love cream cheese i'm looking forward to trying this now, there doesn't have to be no rhyme or reason to it just kind of get it in there i would smash everything down i hope you all notice that when i put it in there i'm kind of smashing it to encourage it to spread out always use clean hands there should never be a reason why you are cooking with dirty hands <laughs> all right and then you're going to pop it into the oven at 350 until everything is golden brown now again you would let it sit overnight even with the cream cheese on it but we're gonna bake it and we'll come back and show you in a little while all right y'all see bump it up bum how everything kind of all melted together see how it kind of risen that's because the bread absorbed if you were to leave this overnight again remember i said that because we donate our food i was having to just pop it in the oven but if you were to leave this overnight this would be probably twice the size and everything would be extra super absorbed and rich but it still came out beautiful we're going to add a little bit, just a little bit of Italian parsley. You can use whatever fresh herb you'd like. Dill would go really good with this, but this is what I had on hand. Now, Italian parsley, a little bit goes a long way, so I'm not gonna get too heavy with that. But if you were going with dill, you could probably do as much as you'd like. So now let's do the favorite part. Let's dig into this. 
got a little bit of that cream cheese tomato bacon look at how the cheese all melted in there look at how gorgeous that is delicious now i have a bum tooth y'all so i am not going to try this out right now but i did just look at how how the bread absorbed everything cheesy bacony eggy deliciousness i hope you enjoy it at home when you try